recently had to give up drinking. Um, my parole officer said that that was really the only way forward after I got caught drunk canoeing. I was uh, in my canoe going down Tiverton Canal and uh, I hit a swan. Anyway, that's my dad. Be right back. I was wrong, it was actually mum. Anyway, right, so I put together these chords the day that I was just jamming with and one of my favourite keys to play on guitar is actually D major. And I think the main reason for that is that with D major, with the open string you get this sus2 or the add 9, you've got that E, you know, which is the second degree of the scale if we're in D major. And that's kind of one of my favourite sounds uh, over really anything like the, the 2 or the sus9 or sus2, whatever you want to call it. I just really like. So, the, the chords that I'm using, uh, essentially, here we've got a C sharp, a D and an E. So that's like a little chord cluster doesn't really tell you too much about any harmony or anything but it works kind of well over over any of the chords in D major so you can just use that kind of thing to add kind of color to to a piece of music or whatever and then here just keeping that same idea with the open E but Use an F sharp and an A. So you could probably think of that as more like a D triad with an E in it. Of course there's no D. But again, that can be played over. another really versatile okay and then I came down to this G major with a six in it because we've got that open E playing that with the thumb over but you could do that in that way as well and then building on this idea from earlier on I'm hitting an A in the base of it and an F sharp, so A, F sharp, C sharp, D, with an E in the top. So I would think of that as a D major seven, add nine, but in second version, so with an A in it. So I'm hearing that as a D chord with an E in it, or D major seven with an E, but I just really like that sound. And then back up to here, then again one of my favorite chords with the 9 in it again playing a G a D an A which is the 9 and then a B and then that's the same kind of idea we've got just a, a normal kind of B minor thing an A triad, A major triad, so a spread triad, so we've got an A, E, and then the third in the top. So we've got the third in the top of the B minor, the third in the top of the A major, and then instead of having the third in the top of the G major triad, I've dropped that third down to the second, so we've got more of that added nine flavor. Then this is a, another really versatile kind of thing. Um, people call this weird stuff. It's essentially just a major seven add nine because you've got that E in there again. So D major seven in first inversion, add the nine. But you can use that over a B minor as well. Over an A, over a G. 
it's just again a really versatile thing that you can use to colour in stuff. Then the A major spread triad, so same as that, but down an octave. And again a 9 chord. So we've got a G, a D, and then an A for that 9. So again, just I think quite pretty chords and I just love the way that D major sounds with that E in the top, um, Eric Johnson in the tune When the Sun Meets the Sky. It's using kind of those open strings in in that tune, that's worth giving it a listen and I think it's something you hear in maybe worship and maybe in tunes by like U2 and Coldplay. These open strings uh, are kind of really colourful so in D major the B is the 6 and the E is the 9. If you wanted the, the tabs for this, it's really simple, so I imagine you'll be able to figure it out from the video, but if you wanted the tabs, they'll be up on my Patreon, but don't join today, join tomorrow if you're going to, so you don't get charged twice, and the backing track will go up on there as well, but I just wanted to share those kind of little nice clusters, and those nine chords that I'm really fond of. and the idea of just playing in D major to get access to that to get access to that E on the top and it's kind of like that built in sound of the second or nine catch you in a bit if you wanted to like and subscribe you could hopefully that was vaguely interesting to at least one person cheers